calling you a radical just listening to the fucking BYU game on the radio. I thought it would be different this year. That's how stupid I am. I'm telling you, Utah basketball has a fucking curse. Where do they find these fucking analysts? Oh, they're fucking pathetic. Like, we go from Hot Rod Huntley to David Locke. It's fucking beyond pathetic. I don't can't understand why they're changing out the fucking ball. Did somebody spill drink on it? Somebody touched it. You know, COVID? Hello, you stupid fuckers. I mean, where do they find these fucking morons? You know, BYU. You know, I was rooting for them. This is such a basketball state. There is no Utah basketball team has fucking won anything since 1971. I mean, the Utah Stars is 71. That's it. I, I'm tell, I can't believe it. It's a giant basketball state. BYU has such good teams all the time. Same old, they get too high a seed every year. They're beat by a lose lower seed one Oh, Jimmer 10 years ago. Fuck oh, Jimmer. Jimmer sucked. That's the most overrated player in history. In history. Fuck, if you had had Lillard fucking sit out there and bomb 40 fucking footers, Randy Ray wouldn't let him. He'd score 50 a game. Oh, yeah, he played the same time in Utah. I used to tell these douchebags, BYU fucking idiots in Ogden, nothing. We have an NBA player playing right here at the same fucking time. Right here. I used to do the play-by-play -play for Weaver. Randy wouldn't let him bomb like that. Fuck, if he'd have shot those 40, 50 footers like Jimmer, of course he wouldn't be fucking, you know, First rounder in the NBA. Well, maybe he would. <laughs> I mean, one and done. One and done. University of Utah, that great team of Jarris. My relative, Dick Kunsaker, fucking, he should have got the fucking job. What a great coach he was, but he they never gave him a chance at Weaver. Should have. They'd still be winning with that dude. What a coach. Remember when he went to Ball State and how deep he fucking took him? Majerus and that great team in 98 had a halftime. Oop, they lose. What the fucking Jazz? <laughs> You're talking the Chicago Cubs of fucking basketball. The Jazz. They're the heartbreakingest team in fucking basketball history. Oh, I saw if Oh, they'll choke. They'll, they always fucking choke. BYU. They don't, I mean, they got fucking railed. <laughs> By a team that, oh, God. I thought, well, they're so fucking good this year. They played Gonzaga so tough. Of course, then there's fucking, don't get me going. I did the play-by-play -play for Weber State. I worked for Weber State. What the fuck? Eastern hung in there, but. Fucking Utah State. What the fuck? I know Stu Morrow personally. Really well. He couldn't win a fucking tournament game. They had great fucking teams. He'd find a way, you know, to lose. They haven't had a fucking winning team at Utah State in the tournament since Wayne Estes was killed. Since fucking Nate, well, I mean, they always fucking lose early in the tournament. I can't believe BYU, they got fucking drilled. I mean, one day you fuckers will wake up, you know, all you hardcore Utah, and the analysts and the fucking douchebags and, uh you read these fucking idiots. They don't have no clue about basketball history in this fucking state. Used to be so rich. Used to be so beautiful. Used to be so fucking good. What the fuck happened? BYU? Well, Danny Ainge. Oh, he was all that. What a fucking player. Oh, my God. What an athlete. What a player. But what's the greatest team in BYU history? Oh, the 84 fucking football. Football. Levado Irons is the greatest football coach in history. NFL, college, anywhere. I knew him. You know, I still know that idiot fucking nephew of his. Boy, that fucking douchebag. That fucking egg fell away right from the fucking tree. The Bell Hodge is the greatest fucking coach in football history. Ah! Speaking of great coaches, the greatest team BYU has ever had in the history of BYU in any sport was the 1980 football team. Jim McMahon. That comeback in the fucking hall, I'll never forget that fucking, that's the greatest comeback in fucking sports history. 1980 holiday ball. I was at that game. I couldn't, I still don't fucking believe it. Everybody left. I don't, Catholic to a Catholic. How good was he? They blocked that kick. I mean, they used to, they were beating people by fucking 70. Hey, they would have beat people by 100. 
I'll tell you a great story about Jim. We were over, we were just kids, you know, teenagers. We used to play three on three football right there in the Sandridge Park right there in Roy. I'm like, who's this fucking cat? There was a dude over there and he was punting. I'm like, whoa, holy fuck, look at this guy punting. You know, when he come and play, and I'm like, whoa, whoa. They never lost a fucking game of fucking Roy with him. He was the punter. So they let him play quarterback in 1980. I don't know how they lost that first game, but that's the greatest. I mean, that team was, holy fuck. They could have beat anybody in the country. Would they beat in that, that crazy-ass fucking Holiday Bowl? That's Eric Dickerson and Craig James. Fuck, that game was so It's the greatest comeback in sports fucking history. Lauder well, was the greatest coach in fucking football ever, ever. I'll give up. Andy Reid, fuck him. He played on those teams, didn't he? Yeah. Why is this kid not in fucking jail? Why Andy Reid kid not knocked up? He just basically killed the girl, drunk, wasted on pills. Fucking sad. But there's a curse on fucking Utah basketball. It's fucking sad. I mean, I remember sitting in the arena that game. Pippen was hurt. Was going to go to game seven. Fuck, they had fucking the Bulls. They were done. The Bulls were beat. <laughs> fucking Jordan backs fucking down all the way around. Stills it from Malone. I was sitting with some guys from Chicago. I says, this fucking game's over. I says, what do you mean? Fuck, come on. You know who's going to get the fucking ball. And Jerry Sloan's too stupid to have fucking Chris Morris guarding. Chris Morris, he couldn't get over Chris Morris. Chris Morris was all that. But you, Jerry, if Phil Johnson would have been coaching those teams... The Jazz had three or four banners up there. Jerry Sloan was the most predictable fucking idiot in history. Great fucking player. Intense motherfucker. Fucking tense coach, but too predictable. I mean, like clockwork, like BYU, one and fucking done. It's a fucking curse. I can't believe it. I'm like, this BYU team is fucking good this year. I was rooting for them. I was rooting for them. Weber State's been fucking choking for fucking years. Fuck, 20 years of fucking choke. When Damian Lillard's ahead by 20 fucking points at halftime in the Big Sky Championship game and loses, something's fucking wrong. Utah State, fuck. They got fucking drilled. <laughs> Remember last year how good Utah State was in rank? One and done. What the fuck is it? What the f I don't get it. I guess these Mormon boys got to get home to their fucking wife and kids. You know, I don't know. But they sure don't show up. I mean, that's the hallmark of a fucking... Big time athlete. They show up when it matters. In big games, they show up. Unfucking real. So, and these douchebag analysts they have, they're so pathetic. I mean, we had to bring in Clowkey. Clowkey's from what? Chicago, I think. By the way, I love Clowkey. He's very good. You know, but <laughs> I don't fucking believe. It. I mean, they got drilled, they suck. If, I mean, it's the call. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It blows my mind, actually. It, it really blows my fucking mind. <laughs> Fuck football. Fuck everybody. Had them all amped up this year. They fucked that and play anybody. I'm like, as soon as they play somebody, they get their ass kicked. They did. Oh, don't get me going on Utah. That's the most overrated football fucking program in the world. Scott Mitchell. Yeah, I said, Scott Mitchell sucked at fuck college. And he sucked in the NFL. Now, Steve Smith, he was all that. But Kyle Wanaham's the most overrated, overpaid fucking coach in fucking Utah history. That's saying a lot. They've never won anything. That's the most mediocre fucking program in history. Well, I'll tell you, football team, right now, of course, they find a way to lose the big game, but that, I mean, is Weaver State. <laughs> That's the best football team in the fucking state this year. I think they've kicked Utah's ass. You know, at least they have a decent culture up there. Finally, after all those losing fucked up. The, their athletic department's pieces of shit. We had a conversation, me and a bunch of the fans up there last Saturday, and the old scores, and I'm like, you know Trevon Smith? Yeah. What's his fucking name not in the ring? All-time leading rusher. Mormon boy. Four kids. Fuck the NCAA. I'll, let, let me tell you about how the NCAA plays. Ron McBride, that piece of shit. He just pounded his brains in. Mormon boy from Utah. Trevon Smith. All-time leading rusher in the history of a hundred and fucking year program at Weber State. But Greg is pounding him. Poor kids. A few years after his football career, he had a fucking heart attack and a stroke. 
Fucking devastating. Four children. They came all fucked up. He was living in the homeless shelter and fucking down there. You seen the homeless fucking population down there in Salt Lake? Right, I ride the train when it goes like, get up. Whoa, whoa. They picked him up on a warrant on 4th of July last year, 2019. They beat him to death in a fucking jail cell. All time, but worse, but they just forget about the throwaways, you know. Wasn't like that with Lavelle, you know, in those days. I, I remember Lavelle Edwards. He's so good to his fucking players and, you know, fuck, how many players did he put in the NFL? I think there was like 10 quarterbacks in a row starting. I, at one time, at one time, I think there was... 10 NFL head coaches that came off that fucking program at the same time. You know, they want to talk that 84 team. That 84 team was shit. That 80 team? <laughs> Who's the best athlete in the history of fucking BYU? Well, that's those track guys. Those great runners. I used to run against High Stone. I love Ed. Me and him used to go, fuck, what a runner he turned out to be. What a great track team. What a great track team. By the way, the kid at Utah State won the cross-country national championship. I hope he doesn't go to fucking Japan. They're not going to let, I mean, the radiation games, the Fukushima games. The greatest player in the history of, well, I'm going to give it to Jim McMahon. I mean, fuck what a fucking player. They had a lot of them on that fucking team. I like Clay Brown when he always says, the greatest play in BYU history was a Catholic to a Catholic. <laughs> Lil Edwards is the fucking greatest coach in football history, professional, college, anything. They talk about the West Coast. He invented it. I mean, Mark Wilson, oh God, how good was that dude? Steve Young, whoa, whoa, whoa that then some. Yeah, well, that's a debate. Okay. All right, I changed that, Jim. Oh, that's a f hell of an argument, huh? Steve Young or Jim McMahon? What fucking players? But this BYU team, every year gets... I, I would, You know, I don't gamble. I fucking got cancer 10 years ago. It's like free money. Let's go bet against them every year. What curse? What the fuck? And this state loves basketball so fucking much. I'll tell you the last time we had a real winner. Of course, he was from Idaho, wasn't he? That guy... <laughs> Tecmata, we yeah, Weber State. <laughs> uh, fuck. Haven't had a winning fucking team in Utah since 19 fucking 71. Unfucking. I remember being at the NBA Finals and he was doing the play by play. Come on, who is that? That's Dr. J. I remember. Uh, him saying, this jazz team, you can go from 1980 to, I believe, clear to 99, almost 20 year period, the winningest sports franchise in all of sport, percentage wise, was the Utah Jazz. They don't have any banners. What's his name? Was coach, I remember one time when I was listening to his two black color, and he says, You give me Stockton Malone for fucking. 20 years. I'll have five or six fucking banners flying up there. Gary Sloan was one great fucking player, I'll tell you that. But coach, he was just so... Phil Johnson. If he'd a coach, I love Phil. You know, but it's a curse. All these fuckers are all amped up. They got a show. They're talking jazz. They're talking BYU. I mean, that's all I hear from all these fuckheads around here. I'm like, oh yeah? Talk to me when they fucking win something. Jimmer, 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 10 years ago. <laughs> Lily broke his foot right before. I'll tell you a great story. I'm sitting there fucking do. I did the play-by-play -play for Weaver, you know, for the radio station. Uh, Carl Arkey did it over there. He was great. I love Arkey. Clocky's good, but they're choke artists. Oh, don't even get me going on Weaver State choke artists. Fuck, they fucking wrote the fucking book on choke artists. Lillard's in the boot. A couple days before they were going to play, BYU broke his foot. Me and Frank Leidner sitting together. This is when I did the play-by-play -play for the radio station. There's a scout for the Jazz. He's scouting a player from Eastern Washington. You know, there's another choking ass program. I mean, those two brothers played so good today. Look out next year for those kids. Weaver had a great team this year, and 
They choke. They always lose to Montana. They have a, I mean, <laughs> we're sitting there and I, the great Frank Layden, I love that guy. He's the greatest. Scout walks over. Hi, Frank. Well, what are you doing here? I'm scouting a player. Who? This player from Eastern Washington. Good player. I looked right over. I said, your NBA player sitting right there. That's when he's a sophomore. Ten years to the day the Fukushima disaster was when that nightmare happened in the Purple Palace. Hit by 20 points, lose a half. With Lillard on the floor, Montana, come back and beat him by five. I mean, Anthony Johnson never missed a free throw, never missed a field goal in the game. After the game, he was asked, I had not had a body experience. I'm telling you, it's a fucking curse. I call it the nuclear energy water's curse, this amp's curse. BYU, fuck, they got a curse on them. They're promoting nuclear energy, downwinders, Burgess, fuck Ed Owens. I mean, fuck him. Damien heard what I said. I said, he said, right. the scout laughed. Of course, I know Donovan Mitchell, too. I used to watch him play in high school in New York. He'd come downstate, you know, and I rode on the airplane from Glasgow. I rode on the airplane. I came home from Italy, and I'm signing him in the airport. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing on a plane? I got drafted. Jesse, you know, he's great. I love him. But they'll choke. And it won't be his fault. It's culture. Of course, they have a new owner. Got rid of them fuckhead Millers. It's a fucking curse. You know, you're all amped up, whatever. Talk to me when they fucking win. Anything. Anything. Fuck, is football won anything? No. University of Utah. Oh, fuck. They're so overrated every fucking year. They suck. This year, maybe. Spring football. I think we've got a national champion. Possible. 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 In Utah. It could be the first fucking winning fucking anything since 1971, the Utah Stars. Some old baby, Willie Wise. Who? We got one chance. We were safe football. It's a real sport. They play a real tournament, not this fake CD shit. And guess what? They have tons of Utah local players. Snowball chance in hell, but, you know, it's got to do with Fukushima, just everything. I still can't believe it. It's a fucking... The Utah basketball... Well, football curse, too. Of course. I still go back to that night. What a fucking time it was in those days, huh? Before the NCAA ruined fucking basketball and turned it into professional. The players don't get paid. Just coaches making millions. So gross what the NCAA's done. I really thought BYU'd win this. I mean, that's how stupid I am. They got drilled. So good. Hmm. Same old, same old. The Utah fucking curse. Hmm. Been so fucking long. 1971. Hmm. I'm fucking real. Remember Danny Ainge going behind his back in that long fucking drive to go to the fucking lead A? God, what a beautiful play that was. Well, that fucker was good. Baseball, I mean... In those days, but next year, Weber State in the tournament. Out. One and done. One and done. All of them. All of them. Utah basketball. Same old, same old. Fucking curse.